It's a Kardashian Christmas special just in time for Thanksgiving, so this makes a lot of sense. Plus, we have a Kylie sighting, and did Kris Jenner just confirm her pregnancy? Hey guys, it's Allie with your weekly dash cap, and it's a very merry Kardashian Christmas special in November, but whatever. It starts with Travis Barker from Blink 182 hanging out for some reason decorating gingerbread houses. Now, there may be some non Christmas spirit in the fam in the form of jealousy over Kylie Jenner and the wealth generated by her makeup line. Listen to the Grinch here, aka Courtney Kardashian. That's what I'm getting for her. For who? Kylie. We're getting like a dozen of them. Why do you whip Kylie's ass? Is it because she makes you a lot of money? What is wrong with you? I was just asking. Speaking of, the big made up drama of this episode is how competitive the K's are about holiday decor. Q Kim being weird. I have warned everyone that I will come for them if they even dare try to copy anything that I'm doing this holiday season. Kim, do you have anything else awful to say for Christmas? I cannot stand Thanksgiving food. The rest of this makes me so nauseous. Why don't we tell that story later? No, I'm just saying, that's a great thing. So I don't have to waste myself on the calories. Also, Kim, don't mess up your contouring when greeting relatives this holiday season. But if you want something that will really ruin the season, it's Jonathan Chebin wearing Santa's skin. Oh, what? <laughs> present? What? Tiny red. Okay, here's the important part. The long-missing Kylie finally shows up to give us a holiday wink. And she has some very un-Kim-like thoughts on Christmas. I'm thankful for my mom. Oh, I should have said that. Because I don't know what I would do without you. You're like my favorite person on the planet. You really are. I hold you in high regards. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, I love you. Oh. My mom did the most amazing job our whole lives making the holidays so special for us. So I just can't wait to keep doing our traditions and stay as close as we are. Correction, Kylie. It's high regard, not high regards. I hold you in high regards. Anyway, directly after this toast, it does seem like Kris Jenner confirms Kylie's pregnancy. You decide. I used to pray that one of you guys would have a baby. And now it's like a faucet that we turned on and that won't turn on. But just as we're processing that, cut to Kendall stealing the show with this entrance. I mean, I'm grateful for my family. I think we're super rare. And we're really blessed. Here, and I think here, we take that for granted. Here. Having a big family for the holidays is like the best thing ever. I kind of like how seriously everyone takes it. It makes it more special. For the holiday season, I wish for peace in the world, peace in my family, peace in everyone's families, and just happiness and love. Just a sidebar, Kris Jenner also builds an ice rink for this dinner party and literally rents former Olympic medalist Nancy Kerrigan. Well, now you know your Christmas plans are for plebs. Regardless, click right up here to subscribe because we're recapping this stuff every single week.